the Cypress Automation YouTube channel. If you are new here, please subscribe my YouTube channel so you will get the notifications about the latest videos. So what is the agenda of this tutorial? Uh, the first one is the importance of the page object model and its usages in the Cypress and its advantages. The second one is the implementing the page object model using Cypress. How to create the page objects and the fourth one is the how to create the classes and the last one is the how to import the classes in our test cases so what is the page object model the page object model is the design pattern used in the software development where classes represents the pages a form can make code more maintainable and reduce the duplication all the page elements are stored in that class for the related page uh, that makes it easy to access and update page elements as needed for example if you have uh, two pages there for uh, first page is a home page and the second one page is uh, uh, about us page so all the locators uh, will be saved in our so we will create uh, there are two pages in our uh, page, uh, pages directory in the Cypress and uh, the first one will be a uh, home.jsrts and uh, the second one uh, will be the uh, about us uh, js file so all the locators related to the home page will be saved in the uh, home.js file and uh, all the locators related to the uh, about us page will be in the about us.js file so let's start on today's uh, uh, tutorial so just uh, move through create a pages directory under the cypress so just create a pages folder here so you can see that it's a uh, created there so for example our first page is uh, uh, our home page so just need to create a home page home.js Yes. okay so this is our home page and let's create another page here for example this is our uh, this may be a login page a sign up page or about us page you can save it as anything okay so for example this is our login.js page so first of all just need to uh, uh, yeah that is created so we will create our class here named as the home so all the locators are related to the home page will be saved in that uh, file uh, and the, all the locators related to the login page will be in the login.js file so just need to create a class here just name it as a export export and just name it as a home and Okay, so that is basically a class and just class and let's start it and okay so uh, just create a visit method here this is our first method and uh, this is our first method in our class so we can see why not a visit here and it should be like uh, this one so just remove it so this is our first method in our class here so this is uh, my web okay so i just need to create a directory under the e 2 folder where i can uh, create a different uh, pages for our test cases for example if we have a login page there and all the test scenarios will be in the uh, login.cy.js uh, file and uh, if there is a sign up page and all the scenarios will be under uh, sign up.js.cy.aspect uh, file so just needs to create a file here first of all we are just creating for our home page so just uh, uh, can you, uh, first of all needs to create a you just name it as a form you can do anything here I'm just uh, naming it as form and uh, here it is okay so under that form I can create a new file there that should be the 
home page okay home page test scenarios will be in that file scenarios dot cy dot js okay so i have created a file here so that is my test case file and uh, so just need to okay so this is my test case file and i just need to import that method or that uh, method in uh, my that class to just uh, call that so first of all i just need to import that class in file here import so import as home from the pages and home it is a create uh, imported there so what we can do now we can do now uh, just needs to create a constant there and we okay, will initialize our class here so for example this is my test root here uh, const uh, const smaller home is equal to new and it's a home that is my class name which i have created here so i have created a home class here and imported that class here and also initialized it here as a home so now how i can call that i can just call that class like this one home dot for example there is a method which i have created is a wizard method you can also uh, see it here uh, this is my method here so just visit so what let's execute that what's happening there okay now you can see that it's created there under the there is a e2e directory and uh, under that there is a form folder and that's a home page test scenarios okay so now my website is loaded here wow so uh, what we can do now that here that is on my home page you can see that just uh, we just want to do some activities here uh, for example for example we just want to navigate to the phones or laptops or monitors so just needs to get the locator of that or we can okay so just get needs to get the locator of that phones uh, just copy the locator of that so what we will do now we will create another method here which we will call then in our home page as scenarios that should be we can see it uh, get uh, phone uh, in site more basically you can do uh, you can give any name to that method but i am just giving it like a get phone in sidebar so just paste that uh, okay so paste that locator here and uh, return that i just need to return that return so it's giving me an error here so what i can do i can do like this thing and no there is not the good thing here okay so just need to Mm, remove that okay so why it's not removing here okay so just return 
okay get it again so that is one of the thing you can get okay it's just mm, tries to navigate the sidebar from here and just copy it uh, yes, we can also rename it and get navigation right button here so uh, we are just returning that and uh, how we can import uh, use that uh, we can just use to do like this and uh, home dot you can see that uh, get navigation right button is showing there and uh, how we can call that okay so we can just do it like mm -hmm. dot click okay click okay so now let's see what is happening there okay okay let's execute it again wow it's just click that got that button here and also click on that button so now we can see that it is happening there so this is the basic page object here and how we can create a class there so what we do we'll do for the next uh, we will do like we will create another method there for example we just wants to uh, check that mm -hmm. okay so we just want to check the details of that first item so what we will do that uh, get the get first item here and uh, just paste it here and uh, just need to return that return here okay so now we will use that and get first item okay so just needs to home dot get first item there okay so just need to click it here and it's okay so oh i think we yeah we have clicked it okay so what is actually happening there is nothing is happening there basically this is a just a testing website and it's not open but it's clicked there and you can also see it here so in this way we will do uh, create a lot of methods related to the home page in our home class and we can just import that methods in our test cases related to the uh, home uh, home page for example you have a lot of uh, test cases they are related to any home page then you can just do that in this way so this is my first test case there you can just say that home page test cases and so this is the uh, common way for the page object model here so what we will do for the next okay so we have also created it uh, so what we can do now we can just do for example there is a login page and uh, yes uh, yeah that is the login page and for that uh, just need to set the login page here and we can do a uh, same like this export login okay so this is a typical class here 
class okay and started here and this is our class for the login page and uh, we will do our uh, uh, we will uh, create our all the locators and save our locator related to the login page uh, in that particular class <coughs> and uh, just uh, for example mm, we can create okay so get our first method will be the get login uh, in bar so this is our first method here and we have already copied the locator of that okay so just need to return that to return okay so how we will get that so just needs to okay we can also do it uh, here we just need to import that class and we can create uh, initialize that class and we can also use it here but uh, for the learning purpose we will uh, create a separate uh, class there uh, we can create our separate test cases file but okay so let's uh, do that otherwise maybe uh, someone will be confused here so just okay login page test cases dot cy dot js so all the test cases related to our login page will be here So just needs to we will do the same thing here. Now we can see that uh, login test cases. Okay, so this is our uh, all the test cases, all the all, all the tests, and we will be in that file. We will create a multiple test cases here. So first of all, we just need to import that login class here import login okay so it is imported from that and just needs to create a class for that and uh, we can simply write login here and just new login login here so what we will do now that we just uh, needs to uh, call that function here but uh, for first we also just needs to uh, visit that website so what we can do we can just uh, do that uh, we can take the home uh, dot visit from here uh, okay so we can also import the home in our so basically the main purpose is that okay uh, port reusability so you will uh, use that uh, code from the home also in the login okay so home, home is also there and we can create a constant home and uh, just needs to new okay so just home this is a class name okay so both the classes are imported here in our test suite so both the classes are from the home and from the login both the classes are imported from the home we will uh, just to use that particular uh, method and from the login we will uh, use that function uh, method so just so we how we can do that uh, home dot visit we will use that method from the home and uh, from the login we will use the get login bar so 
just needs to execute that spec file and you can see that uh, that is created there so you can see that it is visited and uh, first our first method is visit here in our login ptest cases so what we are missing basically there is just a click here okay okay so you can see that we just get that visit from our home class and then we just got a login test cases okay so this is not the this is okay so sorry uh, this is not uh, actually that is clicking that detail page there but we just needs to click on that login so just copy that and just save it here okay so now you can see that oh wow, that's clicked here so i hope you have understood that uh, we have reused the uh, same method in our two uh, test scenarios uh, which is uh, in our uh, login pay test cases and then we have also used it in our home pay test cases so we can create another method here for example we just want to so we just want to uh, use the username uh, we just want to type the username and password and then click here so what we will do now we just we will do the just needs to copy the get the username field get the password field so in the login page okay so get user name field return username and the other method will be the get password field so it will be password field here okay so what is the location for the password so this is the locator for the password here so this is our password return and we also need to click on the login button we will click on the login button there so we can also create a method there copy this is uh, too lengthy we can simply do that like this contains contains log in okay so this is our login button there so how can we now use that in our test case there so this is my first test case here mm, we can create another test case uh, but I think at the moment we can just use it in a simple uh, in that first cast case okay so login login dot okay so the first field is get username dot type
outside plus affirmation and the second field is login dot password field and uh, there is not a prototype there is just type dot type here just one two three four five six seven eight and just needs to click on the login button there no login dot get the login button okay so now let's check that what's that thing that username field is not a function there okay so get username dot get username is not the function there so just go back so what is the issue here get username field get username field and get username field okay so just parentheses are missing there okay so now let's check the login button yeah that i have updated that also there should be the login now let's check okay so i think we have to choose a feed be just before the we can create uh, just a simple wait here see if i dot wait here actually our page is loading too fastly and performing the actions there so just needs to and it's surplus now that is the see why okay okay so just okay so contains the log in uh, that is failed actually it's a capital I and I uh, here it is a smaller one so just needs to also needs to click on that but we also need to uh, get that wrong okay so get the login button okay So this is a basic method here and I hope you have uh, learned a lot of things here if something is missing then we will cover in our next tutorial.